The James Webb Space Telescope was hyped up to be the most advanced piece of space tech yet. Now that the JWST's first few images have gone public, it seems like this was a total understatement. Everyone was completely blown away, and with good reason. The JWST shows massive improvement on the Hubble Telescope, and this is only scratching the surface. In today's video, we're going to talk about why these first few pics are such a big deal. What does this discovery mean for space travel and astronomy? Be sure to stay tuned until the end of this video to find out. After countless delays, James Webb promised to deliver, and so it did. The craziest thing about these images is that they're only a tiny part of our massive universe. It's a big reminder of how infinite space is and how small we are by comparison. It's hard not to be a little taken aback. But with all that aside, let's take a look at these images, shall we? This galaxy cluster, called SMACS072, is made visible with one of the telescope's features known as gravitational lensing. The most eye-catching part of the image is the centre, where we can see the elliptical galaxy in the middle and the smaller white galaxies dotted around it. They're bound together in a huge cluster by gravity, where they bend light from the galaxies light years behind them. This combined mass of galaxies and dark matter acts as a sort of cosmic telescope, which magnifies individual galaxies. Hell, sometimes it makes them appear like mirror images. Examples of this kind of mirroring are found on the orange arcs to the left and the right sides of the brightest cluster galaxy. These are lensed galaxies. Each individual galaxy is shown twice in one arc. Webb's image makes it easy to see their bright cores, which are filled with stars, along with orange star clusters along the edges. Keep in mind though, not all the galaxies in this field are mirrored. Some are stretched, and others look scattered by interactions with other galaxies, leaving trails of stars behind them. The tiniest galaxies in this picture are the ones that are the furthest away from us. They don't have the same sort of spiral or elliptical shape like galaxies seen in our local universe. They're clumpier and more irregular. But this image is so detailed, it actually helps researchers to measure the ages and masses of star clusters within these distant galaxies. But before we go any deeper, you enjoying the video? Then please give it a like and hit the subscribe button. What looks like craggy mountains in the night sky is actually the edge of a nearby young star forming region called NGC 3324 in the Carina Nebula. Captured in infrared light by JWST's Near Infrared Camera, or NERCAM, this image shows us areas of star birth that were previously never seen. NGC 3324, which is around 7,600 light years away, was originally identified by James Dunlop in 1826. It's situated in the northwest edge of the Carina Nebula, which is visible from the southern hemisphere. The Keyhole Nebula and the active, insecure supergiant star Eta Carinae are both found in the Carina Nebula. They call this image the Cosmic Cliffs, and it's the edge of a gigantic gaseous cavity within NGC 3324. The cavernous area has been carved out by crazy intense ultraviolet radiation and stellar winds from massive young stars in the centre of the bubble, just above the area shown in this image. The radiation from these stars is sculpting the nebula's wall by slowly eroding it away. In this image, the steam that appears to rise from the celestial mountains is actually hot, ionised gas and dust streaming from the nebula because of the ultraviolet radiation. These pillars rising above the glowing wall of gas resist the blisteringly hot ultraviolet radiation from the young stars. Bubbles and cavities are being blown by the intense radiation and stellar winds of newborn stars. These golden shapes are called protostellar jets and outflows, and they shoot off from the dust-enshrouded nascent stars. A blowout erupts at the top of the ridge that releases gas and dust into space, where the unusual arch appears, looking like a sort of bent-over cylinder. This early phase of star formation is really difficult to capture. For an individual star, it lasts only about 50,000 to 100,000 years. But Webb's sensitivity and incredible resolution have done a great job of capturing the event in detail. The Stephens Quintet is JWST's largest image to date. NASA's official Twitter account called it a galactic high five, but it's so much more than that. 
The image contains over 150 million pixels, and it's made up of almost 1,000 separate image files. Five galaxies have been grouped together by the NERCAM and mid-infrared instrument, also known as MIRI. The MIRI has three filters, and two of them are combined in this image to better display the hot dust and galaxy structure. The dust and the shock waves created by the galaxies colliding can be distinguished by MIRI based on their colour differences. As opposed to the blue and white colours assigned to stars at NERCAM's wavelengths, MIRI's data shows these distinguishing yellow and orange colours. JWST's amazing infrared vision and high spatial resolution make it possible to spot previously unseen characteristics in this galaxy group. The image is decorated with dazzling starburst regions and clusters of newborn stars. Gravitational interactions cause several of the galaxies to produce sweeping tails of gas, dust, and stars. But the craziest thing is this. As one of the galaxies, NGC 7318b, slams into the cluster, Webb's MIRI instrument records phenomenal shock waves. Red and gold are used to depict the areas surrounding the primary pair of galaxies. The five galaxies of Stefan's Quintet are also known as the Hickson Compact Group. It's funny, we call them a quintet, but only four of the galaxies in this image are actually close together. Studying these galaxies helps scientists to better make sense of structures which are seen in a much more distant universe. Pictures of the Southern Ring Nebula give us a side-by-side -side comparison of the images received from the NERCAM on the left and the MIRI on the right. These images are different in colour because NERCAM works with near-infrared light, which is closer to the visible wavelengths that our eyes detect. MIRI goes further into the infrared, picking up mid-infrared wavelengths. The second star appears more clearly in the MIRI image, because this instrument can see the gleaming dust around it. This insane visual was created by a white dwarf star after it shed its outer layers and stopped burning fuel through nuclear fusion. Those outer layers turned into the ejected shells all along this view. In the NERCAM image, we can see the white dwarf on the lower left of the central star, which is peeking out behind a diffraction spike. In the MIRI, the same star appears brighter, larger, and redder in colour. This white dwarf star is cloaked in thick layers of dust, which makes it appear larger than it actually is. Before it turned into a white dwarf, the star periodically ejected mass, leaving behind apparent shells of material. It shrank, heated up, and then pulsated as it ran out of material, like on a loop. Stellar matter was spat into space like a revolving sprinkler and created this amazing visual. Today, the white dwarf is heating up the gas in the inner regions which appear blue at the left and red at the right. Both stars are lighting up the outer regions which are shown in orange and blue. This is like a little sampler platter of what the James Webb Space Telescope can do, and I for one am here for it. Scientists are excited to push it to the limit so they can study exoplanets, which are planets that orbit stars other than our own. If life does exist out there, then this is one step closer to exploring it. There's a hell of a lot more than just physics and evolution at play in our universe. And that's the thing. Looking at these images, even if you know nothing about astronomy, they just look so… alive. It's safe to say that there's a lot more to come. This telescope is more than just a tool. It's something that unlocks the hidden part of our universe while making us a little more self-aware. The secrets of the cosmos are unfolding in real time. But which image blew you away the most? Write your favourite in the comment section below. If you learned something new from today's video, then click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video.